Hi there, I just got back from HMV and I picked up a Blu-ray that I'm actually very excited about. Another one in my Screen Factory collection. And this time it is Prison, 1988 film by Rennie Harlan. First we're going to look at the DVD here, then we'll talk about the features, talk a little bit more about the film. Uh, Prison is a great film, it's an Empire Pictures film, and I collect those as well as the Screen Factory. And here, this is the uh, the new artwork. Uh, Viggo Mortensen's right there, we can see the skull in the background. See the uh, creature there. Look on the back. <clears throat> As you can tell, it's, it's got some good features, which we're going to talk about in a bit. There's a spine there as well. Looks good in your uh, case. They have both DVD and Blu-ray, so if you're not moved over to Blu-ray yet, and I have no idea why you're not, then uh, it's then you're set. So that you got your DVD there now that you can watch when uh, until you get your Blu-ray. When you get your Blu-ray, you can watch it in more stunning. So let's look at the uh, reverse cover, because uh, as always, and this, this is a collector's edition, and the collector's edition do have reverse covers. This one did not come with a slip cover. Uh, most of them do, and I'm guessing that more than likely the slip cover got ripped, and that is probably the only reason that I was able to find one of these in town, because honestly, it is very hard to find Screen Factory in, uh, in the town that I live in. They sell really fast. And uh, Prison must have sold at least four or five times every copy that they've had in there. <clears throat> this is the uh, original cover. <coughs> Excuse me. Voice. And uh, I love this art, by the way. This is probably the art that I'm going to keep. I almost got a kind of a 3D look to it with the uh, skull and the prison. You know, you don't, you really aren't, you're not escaping from there. Uh, in the back, we got the, uh, you know, we got a different picture there, as they always do. Uh, special features include audio commentary with director Rennie Harlan. This was 1988. Now, Rennie Harlan had just come over to, this, to the United States, so he hadn't yet made uh, movies like Cliffhanger and uh, not even Nightmare on Elm Street Dream Master Part 4, which he would make later on that year. Uh, this would be his uh, first big uh, picture in the United States, and there's a lot of things that came out of this picture. So I'm just going to go for one second. I'll be right back. We'll talk about it a little bit more. All right, I'm welcome back. Well, welcome back from me. You're just watching on through. Anyway, we're talking about Rennie Harlan's 1988 film, uh, Prison. This is the uh, Scream Factory Blu-ray. This is an Empire Pictures release. Empire Pictures, as you probably know by now if you've been watching my videos, is the company that came before uh, Full Moon. They were the precursor to Full Moon. <clears throat> and uh, the writer of this film here, Prison, which is a particular favorite of mine, is C. Courtney Joyner. C. Courtney Joyner was extremely important to Full Moon in the Wesley became more to the forefront. He would go on to write Trancers 3 and Puppet Master 3, the most popular and best uh, installments in those respective series. Now, he wrote a, a lot of other stuff, but this is the, this would like cement him and would help cement Full Moon later on to become the uh, pretty much the go-to company for, uh, for, for anybody in, that was looking for genre and like just a fun film. Now, this movie here, by the way, was... Uh, the special effects were done by John Carl Bushler, and he would go on to direct Friday the 13th Part 7, uh, A New Blood. <clears throat> now, one thing that he would take over with him from this movie was Kane Hodder. Kane Hodder was the uh, special effects guy and the resident monster in the movie Prison. Um, he would go, because of this movie here, Kane Hodder would go on to play Jason in 7, 8, 9, and X. And uh, unfortunately, not in Jason versus Freddy, and that's probably why it sucks so bad. Uh, Lane Smith, who uh, played Perry White in the television series Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman, is the uh, the warden here, <coughs> a very important character. Um, sadly, Lane Smith has passed on, but we still have his great work to watch, which is a uh, which is awesome. And Viggo Mortensen, who worked on uh, Lord of the Rings, uh, the main character there, is actually one of the main characters in this. This is one of his first films. Uh, I prefer Prism. Richard Band, who uh, does most of the music for the uh, for a lot of the early Empire stuff, and would work on to uh, the Full Moon productions as well. Uh, Charles Ben's brother, of course, he's he's on here. Uh, oh, features <clears throat> aside from the other commentary with director Rennie Harlan. There's hard time the making of Prison. It's an all-new retrospective. We got Rennie Harlan, or Yablins, screenwriter C. Courtney Joyner, stunt coordinator Kane Hodder's talking on this one. We got Charles Band, Richard Band, production designer Philip Duffman. Assistant uh, production assistant Patrick Denver and, and a bunch of others, and this runs at about 38 minutes long. 
it's a really good retrospective. Uh, you got a poster and sales gallery. You shove this into the computer. You got the original first draft screenplay in PDF format. You want to read read it, check it out. <coughs> uh, Prison is a fun little film. Basically, it's a <coughs> this uh, prison. Hmm. Yeah, hard to believe, huh? It's a bit of a haunted prison. A guy is executed for murder that's uh, innocent. And uh, afterwards, the electric chair that he was executed in is kind of like, uh, it's walled up. So, a uh, new warden comes in, gets the prisoners right away. We're going to get on wall the electric chair. Well, he does that, and he unwalls the creature inside. <coughs> and uh, it's a fun film. It's a special effects extravaganza. <clears throat> and it's amazing what they could do on uh, on lower budget, but uh, there are some really great effects in here. There's so many first uh, Kane Hodder, uh, you got Rainy Harlan, you've got Viggo Mortensen. Uh, with Harlan, you know it's going to be kind of a high octane picture. It's not going to be slow paced. Uh, that's not Rainy Harlan's style. But I seriously recommend you check this one out. Here's what they say in the back here, just in case that. From the producer of Halloween comes a new force of evil. Creedmoor Prison becomes a supernatural battleground with a specter of Charlie Forsythe, the man executed for murder, returns seeking vengeance from the brutal guard, Ethan Sharp, who is aware of his innocence. The lives of the inmates hang in the balance as Forsythe and Sharp lock in a demonic combat. This is a really cool movie, and I love the ending of this thing. Um, I don't want to give anything away, but it's uh, it's high on my list of uh, Scream Factory tales that I wanted to pick up. Right now, I've got about 13, I think, of the 16 or 17 that are out right now. And uh, this one here is one that I've been looking for for a long, long time. Like I said, the only reason I found it today was I think that somebody ripped the slipcover and it ended up on the shelf when it was supposed to be in somebody's uh, pool box. Ah, uh, one more thing. I said there was a dot, dot, dot on this one. And if you were patient enough to watch this long and put up with my airs along the way, I actually picked up something really cool this week. <clears throat> and I grabbed oh and I'm loving this series I'll be getting more of these definitely the uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon uh, set from uh, Diamond Select as you can see it's a great pit thing of the creature but the real cool selling point of me for this is that we have is that we have uh, the girl uh, Kay Lawrence uh, played by Julia Adams of course uh, her figure is there as well and uh, looking stunning as she did in the movie I recently watched this movie with my dad in the 3D. My girlfriend got me the uh, Universal uh, uh, Coffin Box set for Christmas. Surprised the hell out of me. Bless her for it. Anyway, the reason I haven't gotten this open one the is that it's really coolly packaged, as you can tell. And there's a, uh, on the side here, we have the uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Great headshot there. You can see how it would look if it was out of the package. It's one of those where I kind of want to buy a second one of these just so I can have one that I can play with and keep one that I can just put on the shelf like this here and just when I get the rest of them. There's also the Family Opera out there. Uh, there there's coming out with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde next. And that would not, that's not the Frederick March version, it's not the earlier version, what they are actually are coming out with. And it's kind of cool, it's the Boris Karloff, Dr. Jekyll. And Mr. Hyde from uh, Abner Stella meets Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That's the next one coming in that series. Uh, already, aside from The Creature on the Black Lagoon, is, like I mentioned before, Phantom of the Opera. There's uh, Frankenstein. Uh, there's Metaluna from uh, The Solid Earth. And there is also Dracula. Uh, Dracula's a beautiful skull, but as, as you probably know, because of Lugosi's son, they cannot use Lugosi's look for Dracula. It's a shame. It is a beautiful sculpt. It does not look like Lugosi. It is not Lugosi, but uh, it, this is a great one. If you're going to pick up one first, I re really recommend the Creature from the Black Lagoon. We can still get it. The Julie Adams figure is a, is a bonus that really makes that one collectible. Anybody that collects uh, action figures know exactly how hard and rare female figures become in the, uh, in the action figure industry. Uh, they're always the first to go. That's why... Uh, you end up finding uh, secondary characters, female characters, Hellraiser and stuff like that actually becoming uh, big and important and hard to find. I uh, saw Angelique this week, which I may have to pick up soon uh, from Hellraiser. And uh, again, 
Prison. It's an amazing one. Pick it up. You won't regret it. Incredible DVD. Grab yourself the Creature from the Black Lagoon set. Open it or keep it closed, whatever you like best. Uh, it's ties over for playing with, for displaying. I just can't open the, the box is so pretty this time, I can't open it up. Thank you for watching, and right now for me, it's uh, time for tea. Thanks.